That's under the Star Service Flyer Pack. The Long Night. And the Long Night. It's hiding the content for me, but what I want to show you is that we should be having the message up here showing that um, the user is now offline. While we're being offline, that message should be showing as soon as the navigator changes state. But I think it is a problem with this checkbox rather than the internet connection. So, what I will try to do is keep this one over here and there's a the from here. So, if I turn this off, open it, and it's going to disconnect. And it shows. Um, so, these checkboxes sometimes are a bit tricky, and in fact, I prefer using this one because until a recent version of Chrome, this offline over here would just stop even the service worker. So, I'm not sure if this has been changed, but I prefer this to be strong here, and ideally, it tested the real world scenario. So here it showed us that there should be written please check your connection settings, which is loaded from offline.html, just this this page over here. And this is just a simple drop down. But obviously in offline.html you can put whatever you want. I mean you can load content from cache, you could load content from local storage, so that is up to you. This is just obviously a proof of concept. Once we connect back to the internet. <laughs> So, once we're back on the internet, we should have that me me message disappear and it will load the fresh content. The message disappears and it loads the fresh content from, um, from our API in this case, which is a static file. Okay. So, that covers. Um, the, the, the code, um, the code part of this uh, presentation. Um, there is much more which can be, which I wish to show, um, especially when we're talking about performance, which is extremely important um, to get this applied feel. Um, push notifications, which are a subject by themselves, and background syncing. So if I don't have internet, um, in this case, it was using the navigator the one that was offline. But ideally, you have a web worker which is checking as soon as internet comes on, download this content, or if you're using, like, let's say, Messenger, um, as a web app, what you want is that if you try to send a message but you are offline, it will go into some sort of a queue. Once you go online, it gets sent. Whereas in such a primitive example, obviously, it's going to tell you, hey, you are offline, and you cannot send messages. Okay? So, should I build a progressive web app or a native app? Um, that's a question which comes up quite often. Um, at the moment, so it depends what, you, what, what you're looking for. So, websites still have a much broader reach than native apps. So, many people are much more likely to find a website rather than they're able to find their, pro than they're able to find their app. So, a progressive website is going to take those advantages because it is easy to find. The native app, on the other hand, uh, has a much <coughs> better retention, and users on average spend seven times more time on a native app than they spend on, uh, on a website. And using progressive web apps, they're managing to get this number um, smaller. Um, for example, in the case of Flipkart, um, they're almost managing to reach time spent as a native app. Um, so the answer to the question, I would recommend to build progressive web app if you have the resources to do so. Um, the gains are considerable, even you know, in performance and for the user. Um, and then do the native applications afterwards if they, if they are needed. Because native applications still have, especially on Apple devices, and they still have a very significant market share. And it is, they're, they're, they're still, on progressive web apps, Safari is still a bit behind. So, hopefully, if people start using progressive web apps more and more, Safari are going to have more pressure to, um, to upgrade uh, faster or to improve service workers and this function will be even faster. 
but it is somewhere in their five year roadmap. Um, the result of the demo which we saw um, is available on GitHub, so you can check it out and you can download it and get in touch if you have any questions. What I want to try to do, I want to try to um, update it to get rid of knob out in place of handle bars and got instead of ground because what I've seen is the point is more likely to use these technologies than the ones I was using. Um, if you want to read more, again, I recommend to look at IndexDB and push the push API. There is lots more functionality which, which is available, but I will start with those two. And there is Google Chrome Lighthouse, which is a tool, um, a plugin on Google Chrome, which um, will tell you how progressive web app your website is. Um, so you can run that. On this one, we get a score of about 70, so we're not, we're not there yet. Um, but this takes into consideration performance, user experience, responsiveness, service worker offline. So this is your, probably your best um, test to check how, how good you have done with the progress of web app. Um, and the number of resources, which I think are very good starting points. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you.